Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, we start with two stories from the world of astronomy about objects so unusual that our current scientific models suggest that they shouldn't be able to exist at all. First, let me tell you about an extraordinary black hole in a distant galaxy. The black hole is designated M101 ULX-1 and is located in galaxy M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, about 21 million light years away. The unusual thing about ULX-1 is that it's a much, much brighter X-ray source than a black hole of its size should be, according to our current theoretical models of how black holes work. ULX-1 has an estimated mass 20 to 30 times that of our Sun, but its X-ray output is typical of a black hole with a much larger mass. Studying this object and others like it that are yet to be discovered will undoubtedly improve our understanding of some of the most mysterious and compelling objects in the universe. The second unusual astronomical object is a little closer to home. It's a planet orbiting a star a mere 300 light years away, but that's not the interesting part. This planet, a gas giant with 11 times the mass of Jupiter, orbits its star at a distance of 650 AU. That's about 60 billion miles, which is over 20 times larger than Neptune's orbit around our Sun. It's the most distantly orbiting planet ever found circling a single star, but even that isn't the really interesting part. The really interesting part is that a planet this size, orbiting a star at this distance, defies the accepted models of stellar and planetary formation. We don't know how a planet this huge could have formed this far from this star. If it formed from the accretion disk that remained following the formation of the star, as we think most planets do, we wouldn't expect the disk of a star this size to have enough material in its outermost region to make a planet this massive. Another tantalizing celestial mystery, another opportunity to grow our knowledge of the cosmos. Coming back down to Earth for this last one, a team of researchers at the University of Colorado School of Medicine may have discovered the cause of Meniere's disease, a disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. Meniere's disease causes sudden attacks of dizziness, ringing in the ears, and can eventually lead to deafness. Its cause has been unknown. Until now, perhaps. This new study suggests that Meniere's is caused by a sudden loss of blood flow that not only causes the familiar symptoms of ringing and vertigo, but also leads to tissue damage in the ear when blood flow is restored. If this research is confirmed, it could lead to newer, more effective treatments for this potentially disabling disease. A pair of extraordinary astronomical objects, one a black hole that's too small and the other a planet that's too big and too far from its star, are pushing the boundaries of our scientific understanding, while back down here on Earth, a team of scientists may have discovered the cause of Meniere's disease. That's the good news. <gasps>